Jerry Brown here with Jerry Brown Travels, and I'd like to introduce Lori and Randy Grant. They both have been able to retire in their 40s, and I'm always curious, you know what I mean, to meet trust fund babies. So is this what happened to you guys? You, you know, had a big inheritance or something like that? How did you pull that off? <laughs> uh, we are the farthest from being trust fund babies as you can possibly be. We were actually uh, teachers in Mississippi. Teachers, wow. When we first started off, and then we, uh, Got a job working overseas and moved to Japan, and we worked there for 16 years, and uh, and got to the point where we were able to save about 50% of our income. Wow! Because we knew we wanted to retire. Or when did you start the plan? Mm. Actually, the plan for me, of course, this is way before I met Lori, was to. I started this when I was 15. Okay, 15. I started talking to my grandfather, and he was always save 10% of everything you earn, and. And I had this goal of retiring at 55, you know, and at 15, what do you know? But I knew I just wanted to go out and see the world and, and travel and do as much as I could. And 55 was that goal. Yeah. Well, we happened to do it 10 years earlier. We, we saved, we invested, we, even in the down years when the market was, we were just, just putting in as much as we could, you know, say, you know, and we kind of have a, a saying that we've always used, experiences over things. So we never wanted the lavish cars or the big houses or the most big the designer clothes. And we lived simply. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And we just traded those in for trips to different places. And but I have to be honest, Jerry, because <laughs> we've been together 25 years, 25 in years. next month. <laughs> And uh, Randy brought this idea to me at the beginning of our marriage about if we just start now while we're young, mm. we can have this later. And I did not like that idea at all because we were barely making it as Mississippi teachers. We were barely, we were living paycheck to paycheck. And I said, you mean to tell me we're going to, you know, take a little lump of we hardly have anything and, and wait for that to grow for 40 years? Yeah. Who cares what's going to happen in 40 years? Right. I want to live now. <laughs> so we talked to a financial advisor who showed us the numbers and, and I uh, grudgingly, begrudgingly went along with it and said, yes, I guess I can do without a few little comforts here and there. Yeah. But our little tiny nest egg, lo and behold, he said, trust me, and I did, yeah. started to snowball. One year I started to notice that it just got bigger and bigger and not, and, and I had to tell him he was right, and I hate telling him he's right, <laughs> and here we are. Well, you know, too, it, which is uh, interesting about it is you guys teamed up on it. You got mm -hmm. on the same program, right. you, you teamed up, and so your goal was the same. And now that, and how long have you been, how long have you been retired? We've been doing this full-time travel retired lifestyle for two and a half years. Two and a half years, mm -hmm. okay, very good. Randy was 45 when we retired. Now you're in Ahihi here, okay? Now, you mentioned earlier to me that, and it is quite unusual, you don't hear about school teachers being able to retire at your age. So apparently, you, I know I read the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, you know? And so the one dad was a was an entrepreneur and the other dad was a school teacher. And the poor dad was a school teacher. <laughs> but you guys have pulled it off and you're the rich dad. Well, it's, you know, you talk about books, you know, the millionaire next door. Right on. <laughs> you know, he's the one with the car that's 20 years old and not living beyond his means. And that's the guy that you never know. But those right. are the ones who really have the money. And you look at these people who maybe have the big houses, fancy cars, and they're in debt to their eyeballs. You know, and, and, and that, that brings me to a segue is that when we left our jobs, we were debt free. Okay. And not only that, we sold everything. Right. We thought we want to be free, free, free. We don't want to have a car note or car storage to worry about. We don't want to have rent or a house that we have to come back and check on. Right. We literally sold everything that didn't fit into a carry on bag and a backpack each. So we could pack up from our little casita across town in 20 minutes and be out of here wow. if we needed to. It's the simplest, most free. It's not for everybody. Right. We understand that, but right. we absolutely love the freedom of being right. able to just go anywhere. Right. Now, how did you end up here in Ahihi? We had some uh, friends who were basically our mentors, and they retired at 38 years old. 38. 38. Wow. And so we had followed their blog for five or six years, mm -hmm. and we would ask them questions, and we talked to them, and we got some of their books and things and we like hey we can we can do that yeah you know, we can do that and uh, we just kind of had to convince each other because to to leave your uh, very secure well-paying job you know working overseas it's, mm -hmm. it's tough to 
to break away from that. You yeah. know, you keep thinking, well, maybe next year. Well, maybe mm. next year. Well, when is next year? Mm -hmm. right. And so we just decided to go for it. Right. Because you're you're trading time for money. Correct. So we were getting older, and you know, we thought we could we could do this another 25 years if we had to. But what would our health maybe be like? Right. 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 Would we be able to climb to Machu Picchu, which is on our list of things right. to do? Yeah. That's right. Um, run a marathon in Tokyo. Would we be able to do those things? in 25 years. We don't have a guarantee. Right. And we just needed enough. We didn't want to retire. We didn't we don't feel like we're rich. We have enough. You were smart to put away money, save money. Pay yourself Pay first. Yourself. His grandfather's sage advice is one of the reasons why we're here today. Yeah. yeah. We, we thank Grandpa Grant yeah. Yeah. for teaching him as a teenager to pay himself first yeah. and he convinced me to come along. Yeah, this is fantastic. I mean, I think our viewers here, you know, will show them, especially the people that are in their 40s like you mm -hmm. guys, and you know, you've been doing it now for two and a half years, Right. but it seems like it boils down to, what would you say sort of in the closing here for somebody who's really hungry to retire, they're tired of, you know, what advice could you give to somebody in their 40s now that uh, they have it still a few more years, maybe to save up the money? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, I guess I, I would give the advice to your listeners uh, that if we can do it, anybody can. And you don't have to feel deprived, but you need to start now. I mean, with whatever you can save. You just maybe start tracking your expenses, which is what we did. We tracked and we started to see, wow, we eat out a lot. And we started to trim right. our expenses. It was just the same. We, didn't, we just tracked expenses for three months and realized places that we could really cut corners and save and we still don't feel deprived about it. So living overseas outside the United States yes, in places definitely. make it very affordable. Okay. You know, to definitely. live on fifteen hundred dollars a month. Right. You know, you can really do that in places like Ahihik yeah. or Croatia. Chiang Mai or Croatia. There's so many places yeah. you can go and live very, very cheaply. And people People have to realize if they want to stay in the States, they can, and maybe it's harder to do that, but if, they're, if they want that travel lifestyle, then there's great places they can go Absolutely. at a very fraction of the call. Yeah, that's great, that's great. Yeah, so th this, I love this information because it's, it's practical information to help people. There's no magic bullet. No. It's no. saving, you know, it's right. watching your money, it's being on a budget, it's, it's making uh, choices. Do you wanna, you know, spend $350 a month for rent, which is what you guys are right. paying. And Correct. also, we're gonna show you their uh, apartment and take a look at that. Hola, buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Welcome to our little casita here in Ajijic, Mexico. Come on in. This is our little one bedroom apartment that we rent month to month here in Ajijic. It's very Mexican style. Everything you see here came with the apartment. The only thing we had to do when we moved in was buy some dish soap and some paper towels, and we were ready to go. So literally every piece of utensil, pots and pans, toaster, everything was already here for us, like a, like a hotel room, just ready to move into. Stove and propane comes with the rent of the apartment, which is 350 US dollars a month. Comes with Wi-Fi, propane, electricity and the only thing we have to buy for about one US dollar every other week is a thing of purified water. This is the master bedroom and it came furnished as well and this is what you call a matrimonial bed in Mexico and basically it's a double sized bed um, so we sleep very kind of like tight quarters but it's plenty of room. We definitely don't have a flat screen and our we have this is my closet space so there's plenty of room back there for all of my things. And right through here through the master bedroom is the ensuite bathroom, which is one bed, one bath apartment. And so it's kind of cute and airy. It's got a shower, another closet. Very adequate, nice shower. It's just very adequate for exactly what we need. So what did you think? I think it's great, $350 a month with all the utilities and everything else. Well, let me ask you one thing. You could be doing it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have a rolling lawn. This cookies are really good. Thank you so much for the coffee. <laughs> it was good. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, this was a lot of fun. It's really? yeah, really a lot of fun. And the cookies were good too. Yeah. Okay, so there this is go. enough yeah. of this. <laughs> Well, how about subscribing? You know it's free. All you need to do is press right over here. You see my face? Just press on that and that will automatically subscribe for you. You'll get a free video every week and give you an update on other videos that we'll have. Also, if you want to see more videos, check out this over here and touch on those and we'll show you some more videos on how to travel and how to live cheap and enjoy a quality life. Jerry Brown? Lori Brown. Bye. Bye-bye.